of a perfect flower I am love I am power Sometimes 
time to try Get out when you fall You better skip out
Lately I've been thinking about leaving this town behind Changes out my window weighing heavy on my mind And I can't see the sunset behind the new high rise They built across the street just last July You've been working at a diner downtown Living off table scraps and tips from your regular crowd But you got bigger dreams than that, yeah, I think it's clear Lines on your face look like a road map in the mirror So if I leave, I hope you come with me You know I sure could use your company So roll on, roll on, my dear Where we go, I don't care, long as you're near We can share the laughter and we'll share the tears when you dry your eyes, I'll still be here Sometimes we sit outside and listen to the streetlight on And talk about the way things were and what they could become I've been dreaming about the ocean, I've been thinking about the trees how we could lift up our roots before they get too deep I'll drive that car until we reach the sea But it wouldn't be the same next to an empty seat So roll on, roll on my dear Where we go I don't care, long as you're near We can share the laughter, but damn we'll share the tears when you dry your eyes, I'll still be here We both came home from work last night Full of aches and pain Looked at each other, didn't say a thing We packed our bags and held hands till the break of dawn And listened to those wheels and carry a song So roll on, roll on my dear Where we go I don't care, long as you're near We can share the laughter, well, damn we'll share the tears when you dry your eyes, I'll still be here When you dry your eyes, I'll still be here Will I fall or will I fly? Will I? 
it's not enough just to talk about this stuff. We got work to do. We got work to do. So we sing about it. Well, good evening, friends, and welcome to MAM's Big Night, presented by U.S. Bank, our first ever virtual edition of the MAM Benefit Art Auction. I'm Jonna Wells, and I'm so honored to serve as your host for this incredible evening celebrating the power of art, community, and connection. Tonight, I'm coming to you live from the Missoula Art Museum, an institutional and cultural anchor for Missoula and beyond. I'd like to acknowledge that MAM sits on the ancestral territories of the Salish and Pondere peoples. MAM recognizes and respects the indigenous stewards of this land and the enduring relationship that exists between indigenous peoples and their traditional territories. Their rich cultures are fundamental to artistic life in Montana and to the work of MAM. This beloved space that I'm standing in tonight has offered a radical welcome to all for 45 sensational years a space where free admission, free expression, and free education are championed day in and day out, where diversity and inclusion are paramount, creativity is found, and artists and audiences thrive. You know, it's been said that art remains the one way possible of speaking the truth. And the truth is, art is essential. Through art, we can find ourselves and lose ourselves time and time again, increasing our capacity for wonder, respect, and understanding. You know, it goes without saying that this year's Benefit Art Auction has a vastly different look and feel to those of the past. 
Tonight, I'm joining a small but mighty team here at MAM, safely distanced and expertly guided to bring this beloved event to you virtually in the comfort of your own homes. You know, this past year has reshaped our collective experiences in infinite ways. COVID-19 has forced friends, families, and communities around the globe to retreat from shared space, and it's challenged our hearts and our resolve. People across the country and throughout our global community have stood up in the face of injustice and systemic racism, reminding us that we all have a part to play in creating social change. And though change takes time, if we allow ourselves a little grace, soft spot to land, and the opportunity for empowered reflection, incredible opportunities for connection and growth can be found. And that's where MAM's big night comes in. Tonight, we have friends tuning in and connecting with us throughout the United States and Canada to celebrate the power of art and champion for the Missoula Art Museum. And throughout tonight's show, we'll be introducing you to many of the artists, audiences, and donors that propel MAM forward in their efforts to provide space for the creation of visual stories that move us. We'll invite you to champion directly for MAM, empowering their continued efforts to engage the community at large, create educational programs, and establish premier art exhibitions year after year, all while remaining free and open to the public. And we'll introduce you to our featured 15, a collection of 15 artworks included in tonight's online auction. Though tonight's auction features more than 120 sensational pieces of art that you can peruse at length and bid wildly on up until 8.30 p.m. tonight, we're excited to introduce you to 15 engaging pieces that celebrate contemporary art in all its complexity and diversity. If you're watching this live stream event right now and you'd like to join us in celebrating the power of art and bid and give in support of the Missoula Art Museum and have not yet registered to do so, simply grab another device, perhaps it's your mobile phone or another browser window on your computer and register to participate. Simply click the Donate Now button that's located below our screen here or you can scan the QR code that's shown and then follow the next steps. From there, you're off and running in support of the Missoula Art Museum. Everyone that registers for tonight's event will be entered into our Watch to Win drawings for free, providing you with a chance to win four fantastic prizes, including six months of free bouquets from The Flower Bed, a six-month subscription to The Wine Club from the Missoula Wine Merchants, and two VIP passes to the Big Sky Documentary Film Festival. We'll be announcing four Watch to Win prize winners throughout the night. So again, make sure to stay tuned and register right here and now. And let us know that you're tuned in and ready to support MAM and watch to see if your name is pulled for one of the many big night prizes. Our Watch to Win drawings are our way of saying thank you to this generous community of art workers, art makers, and art lovers, all of whom rise to the occasion each and every year in support of MAM. Once you're registered and tuned in for tonight's event, gearing up to perhaps be one of tonight's Watch to Win prize winners, be sure to take a photo of you and your loved ones that are tuned in at home and tag your photos with the hashtag Mam's Big Night and share those on social media. You know, even though we can't be together in person tonight, we still want to see all of you convening from home and sharing in your support from Mam. And we want to hear from you. So say hello in our chat feed that's showing on screen as well. Another way to support the museum is by purchasing a copy of Getting Through a compilation of 64 track album that features over 30 recording artists with connections to Missoula or Montana. Man partnered with Montana Area Music Association and local producers to create an opportunity for recording artists in Montana to be part of a community album that is available for purchase. This is a project that was organized and produced entirely by volunteer music producers and engineers. And the signature album is available for purchase at missoulaartmuseum.bandcamp.com and proceeds are benefiting the Missoula Art Museum and the Montana Area Music Association. And here now we want to extend our heartfelt thanks to all of the musicians and collaborators that joined together to create this incredible album and celebrated support of MAM. As you can see, there are so many amazing opportunities to champion for MAM tonight to support this marquee event which supports all aspects of MAM's collection, exhibitions, and programs. And as we continue to kick off MAM's big night with all of you joining us from home, we invite each and every one of you to launch into celebrated support for MAM 
bidding wildly on this year's collection of impressive works of art, which will remain open for bidding until 8.30 p.m. tonight, and donating generously at any level of giving that inspires you to ensure that MAM can continue shining as a fully accessible, free public museum, boasting eight exhibition spaces, a library, and education center in the heart of Missoula's historic downtown. You know, it wasn't long ago that we were able to gather with friends and family and stroll through the museum unmasked and utterly captivated by the experience. And for the next few moments, we invite you to join us on a brief visual journey through the heart of MAM, because art is essential, because MAM is essential. Welcome to the Missoula Art Museum where a radical welcome is offered to all, where free admission and free expression are found, where great works of art remain accessible to all, where community convenes, where freedom of thought, conscience, cultural expression, and intellectual inquiry are always championed where everyone has the opportunity to be a part of something captivating because art is connection. Art is humanity and empathy. It's what we need more of when surrounded by ambiguity and fear. Ma'am is an experience and it's made possible by you. This treasured community of donors and members, art makers and art lovers, you empower MAM in every way. You ensure that MAM can continue to serve the public, engaging audiences and artists. You enrich MAM in infinite ways. Art starts here. Thank you for being a part of something captivating. Thank you for being a part of MAM. As tonight's celebration continues on, our hearts are full of gratitude for the incredibly generous community of supporters that have helped light the way for MAM's big night. And that gratitude extends to MAM's incredibly dedicated staff, board of directors, and inspiring leadership. Providing free admission, free expression, and free education for art lovers of all ages requires not only the tremendous generosity of the community at large and the steadfast guidance of a dedicated staff and board of directors, it also requires the thoughtful and passionate leadership of a visionary with a tremendous passion for building a legacy where art can always be found and the next generation of artists and art enthusiasts can thrive. It's with great pleasure that I introduce to you now one such leader, MAM's Executive Director, Laura Millen. Greetings, art lovers, artists, and supporters. Welcome to MAM's Big Night and Happy Lunar New Year. In that spirit, we are filled with optimism and hope that the new year will bring good fortune and good health to all of us. How I wish we could celebrate with you shoulder to shoulder, hobnobbing in the ballroom, all in our finery. We really miss you. Nevertheless, we are so grateful that you're here with us tonight. And it really is a big night because our circle of support is bigger than ever. It stretches, we welcome guests across Montana, but also from Illinois, Michigan, Washington, Colorado, Maryland, Wyoming, Utah, Arizona, Oregon, New York, Idaho, California, Washington, DC, and Victoria, BC. Tonight, we celebrate artists Artists are the source. And now we need art and artists more than ever. Ma'am is proud that tonight we feature the largest selection of artists that ever. And this includes emerging artists, many indigenous artists, and many distinguished elders. And there is a similarly broad cross section of artists on the album, Getting Through. Thank you, artists and musicians for your generous contributions. Thank you, Mama, for the collaboration on the album. Meeting the challenges of the past year has been hard 
and hardest of all is that we have lost some really good friends at MAM. We carry on. We take care of ourselves and each other. We take care of art. We take care of our community, our constituency, and we expand to meet a new future. MAM staff members are the hero of our story of perseverance, especially our frontline workers, and we thank them for their perseverance. Our brilliant educators have sent our programs out across the land during the pandemic. And MAM's outstanding exhibits continue to explore new territory without pause. Our board of directors, under the visionary leadership of Kate Sutherland, has truly helped us stay strong during this challenging year. Thank you to the board of directors from the bottom of my heart. I also wanna thank those who helped us plan the big night. Our sincere appreciation goes to business sponsors, both local, most, both, uh, most, excuse me, most of them are locally and regionally based and they, their help is crucial to helping us produce this event. Special thanks to US Bank, who has been our presenting sponsor for 13 years. President Pre Fernando says, quote, at US Bank, we embrace our responsibility as a business leader in helping fund local organizations. And we are proud to be the presenting sponsor of MAM's Big Night 2021. Thanks to our intrepid staff and crew producing this event tonight. And thank you to Jana Wells, our auctioneer for, this, for tonight's show. I wanna wrap a big blanket of love and appreciation around all of you on this cold night. This year of all years, we simply couldn't carry on without you. Thank you for your generous giving, your wild bidding, and your support of artists and art tonight. Thank you, Laura. As our celebration continues on, I'm thrilled to introduce to you now the first set of works included in tonight's Featured 15. We're kicking things off with lot number one created by Bobby McKibben. This first piece included in our Featured 15 titled Mammoth 2019 highlights what McKibben does best gorgeous scenes of the West rendered in splendid pastel. This view of Yellowstone is a quintessential scene in the park, with McKibben making use of interlocking diagonals to create a dynamic composition. Having worked in the pastel medium for more than 40 years, McKibben has exhibited extensively throughout the United States with major exhibitions in Washington, DC, Chicago, Des Moines, Minneapolis, Hawaii, and Montana, and has works included in collections such as the National Museum of American Art, the Des Moines Art Center, and of course, the Missoula Art Museum. McKibben is represented by Radius Gallery here in Missoula, one of tonight's auction sponsors, and was presented tonight, this piece was presented tonight as a 100% donation in support of the Missoula Art Museum. Bidding for this piece and all works featured in tonight's online auction is open. So let's check in on McKibben's piece now and see how bid activity is progressing. So we're checking in with that piece here and now, friends. And you know what? It looks like there's some opportunity to jump on in on this piece. Bidding has not yet launched here. So make sure if you are finding this piece speaks to you to start that bidding right here and now. Again, bidding for this piece and all others featured tonight will be open until 8.30. A lot of opportunities available here tonight. We're moving along to lot number two with this piece by John Lodge titled Tone Structure Modules. This piece combines his interest in abstract visual art and music and was made in tandem with the work Lodge created over the past year for his major solo exhibition, Fracture, which opens at MAM on March 5th. Lodge created this highly experimental piece with carbon adhered to the gesso surface and expanded the visual signature so that it can be hung vertically, which creates a harmonic connotation, or it could be hung horizontally, which creates a melodic connotation to evoke different aspects of musical structure in each position. 
Lodge's work is deeply rooted in curiosity and play, drawing on observations and understandings of those things immediately around him, including a love for music and the craft and materiality of print printing. Measuring 11 by 42 inches, this piece is presented tonight as a 100% donation in support of Missoula Art Museum. So let's check in on the bidding of this piece and see how things are progressing. So it looks like we started things off with Brett Svetlick with an opening bid of $625 and things progressed thereafter with an anonymous bidder joining us tonight with a bid of $875. So good luck to you, my friend. If this piece speaks to you and you'd like to get in on the bidding action, guess what? You've got that opportunity up until 8.30. 30 p.m. So friends, do not delay. Use this time wisely to peruse these offerings here tonight to take a look at some of your favorite artists' work, explore some new artists that might be speaking to you, and place those bids now. Next up, lot number three features the work of Ken Little. For those not familiar with Little's work, this piece entitled Patty is cleverly made with recycled shoes, belts, extension cords, dollar bills, and Bible pages to playfully invoke taxidermy. Little has depicted deer, boars, coyotes, and even life-size standing bears. And last year, MAM gathered several of these animals together, many of which came from previous MAM auctions, and joined them together for a solo exhibition here called Trophy Room, part of which was featured in our kickoff video at the top of tonight's event. Little was a member of the faculty at the University of Montana from 1974 to 1980, where he taught ceramics with the beloved Rudy Audio. Little has maintained an active national profile for over 45 years while keeping actively in touch with Missoula. His work has been reviewed in numerous national publications, including Art in America and Art Week magazines, and featured in over 55 solo exhibitions and over 300 group exhibitions at prestigious venues such as the Renwick Gallery of the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, DC, the Honolulu Academy of the Arts, and the Contemporary Art Museum in Houston. And this piece tonight is presented as a 100% donation in support of the Missoula Art Museum. So once again, let's check in with the bidding and see how things are progressing on this piece by Ken Little. So friends, we have a bid that kicked off an opening bid of $1,400 on this piece by Ken Little. And that's where we stand right now at $1,400. So again, Little's work is corrected, far, collected rather, near and far. And if this piece speaks to you, do not delay. This could be your opportunity to own a work by Ken Little right here tonight. Again, bidding for this piece and all others will close tonight at 8.30 p.m. So continue to discover your new favorite artists and celebrate longtime favorites by continuing to place your bids here and now on this piece and the many more that are included for MAM's Big Night. We're rolling along, friends, to lot number four with this next featured piece by Corwin Claremont, Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes. And we are so excited to feature this piece titled Raven Speaks to Friends. The DJ Trump virus is more menacing and deadlier than smallpox blankets or the COVID-19 virus. Your vote is the cure. That's the title of this incredible piece. Claremont wears his politics, as you can see on his sleeve, and created this print during the last days of the Trump administration as encouragement to get out the vote. It's a powerful and cutting piece. Claremont curled Trump's signature into a circle to form a depiction of the coronavirus and included the banded colors of the Hudson Bay blanket to recall the instances when the blankets historically carried smallpox to native tribes. Claremont is a master printmaker and uses many different print techniques here, including collagraph, monotype, and chincole. Claremont founded and ran the fine art department at the Salish Kootenai College, which is one of the tribal, one of the only rather tribal colleges in the state with a full art curriculum. This piece is presented to tonight as a 100% donation in generous support of Missoula Art Museum. So once again, let's check in and see how bid activity is progressing. And my word, there are some fans of this piece here tonight. We started things off with an opening bid of $1,400, and things quickly progressed thereafter, $1,700, $1,975. Ren Essen is in at $2,250 there for a moment. That's my daughter's name. I love that name. Then we moved along rather quickly thereafter with an anonymous bidder. Ren hopped in again, and now we're progressed all the way up to $3,050 with an anonymous bidder joining us here and now. So 
Ng Erickson, Ren Essen, uh, and friends, if you want to get back in on the bidding action, now's the time to do just that. Our anonymous bidders are high bidder right here now with a bid of $3,050. If this piece speaks to you and it is sensational in every way, then click that place your bid button and join in on the fun tonight to champion for ma'am. We're moving along with lot number five. Lot number five comes to us by Missoula favorite Beth Lowe. This ambitious large scale piece, which is here in gallery with us tonight, titled Spirit Shelter, is a 100% donation presented in support of ma'am. Beth Lowe's work grapples with her Chinese American heritage and the idea of passing culture on to successive generations. The Cone 10 porcelain vase form is not a specific historical form, but Lowe was motivated to create this amidst COVID and political division, stating that, quote, coil building in ceramics itself is a quiet, repetitive grounding process, and the full rounded vase forms are associated with tradition, food storage, and sometimes ritual. So in short, they're associated with comfort and security. The little pagoda on top refers to the spirituality that we might seek in times of trouble, end quote. Lowe received her MFA in ceramics from the University of Montana in 1974 while studying under Rudy Audio and succeeded him as professor of art in 1985. Lowe frequently exhibits at Radius Gallery in Missoula and plays bass for a number of wildly successful and celebrated bands, including the Big Sky Mudflaps, Salsa Loca and Western Union, the latter of which is included in tonight's Getting Through album. So let's check in on this piece by Beth Lowe and see how bidding is progressing. We're moving right along here. We open things up with William Davis. William, thank you for kicking off that bid activity with an opening bid of $1,600. And then we launched to a bid of $2,500 with our anonymous bidder. So good luck to all of you here tonight. And if you too would like to get in on the running on this Beth Lowe piece, then place your bids now. Again, bidding for this piece and all works featured in tonight's online auction will remain open until 8.30 p.m tonight. So continue to discover your new favorite artists and celebrate perhaps some artists that are beloved to you and your longtime favorite artists. And we're moving along, friends, here. Again, continue to place those bids. We're going to be introducing you to the remaining pieces included in tonight's Featured 15 a little bit later. So for now, again, continue to place your bids on the more than 120 works featured in this year's online auction for BAM's Big Night. And as you do just that, let's throw some love back to this virtual community of supporters joining us from home to champion for MAM and announce our first Watch to Win prize winner. Again, everybody tuning in tonight, if you're registered, you're going to be entered in for that Watch to Win prize. And our first winner of the evening, it looks like it is Ava Parsons of Missoula. Congratulations, Ava Parsons. You have just won the flower bed bouquet delivery. You'll receive, be receiving six months of free flower bouquets from the flower bed in Missoula. And again, I said it before, I'll say it again. Everyone that's registered for tonight's event will be entered into our Watch to Win drawings for free, providing you with a chance to win one of the remaining three prizes. Again, this is our way of saying thank you for tuning in tonight. These free drawings um, are, are exciting. We'll be launching the announcement of those throughout the remainder of tonight's program. Again, our way of saying thank you to this generous community of art workers, art makers, art lovers, all of whom are rising to the occasion tonight in support of MAM. And we'll be announcing three more of those Watch to Win prizes this evening. So again, register, stay tuned here and now, champion for MAM, watch to see if your name is pulled for our next Watch to Win prize in celebration of MAM's big night. For 45 years, MAM has maintained a long-standing commitment to the art. The artists amplifying their voices and visions. A leader with local roots and national relevance, MAM provides space for the creation of works that move us representing contemporary art in all of its complexity and diversity. With a growing collection of distinctive focus featuring Montana modernism and contemporary American Indian art, artists and audiences alike find ample opportunity to exhibit and engage at MAM. And with MAM's Art in Public Places program as well, featured throughout Missoula. And their commitment to free admission it's incredible. Free expression, incredible. And free education, which is incredible, is based on one simple principle, the acknowledgement that art is essential. And if you're tuning in tonight, you believe that art is essential too. And they're not alone in their thinking. So let's take a moment to connect with some of the artists and art enthusiasts that join us tonight to celebrate the power of art.
approachable. Alternatives. Innovative. Healing. Inspiring. Exciting. Supportive. Catalyst. Free. Oh, whimsical. Destination. Stories. Discovery. Independent. Inspirational for sure. Exciting. Amazing. The uh, kinetic. 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 Does repeating one word numerous times actually still remain one word? Ma'am has brought me closer to the artists, giving me appreciation and perspective through the lives they've lived. They keep the artist community alive as a group. We, we get to touch base and be together and know that we're, you know, doing something for a greater purpose. By far, the biggest thing that's done for me is um, as an artist, uh, I can actually, there's a place locally that I can go to and be inspired. Um, and see things that I wouldn't have imagined doing and now want to do. The opportunity of a lifetime to put on a dream exhibition a couple of years ago when we did Understory Overstory. The man let me know that I'm a collector, even though it's on a small scale, that my participation and appreciation and purchases of any art make me a collector and a promoter of art. MAM has been um, my spiritual center in Missoula since the 1970s and it's a place I can go back to over and over again to renew myself. I was lucky enough to have a mother, I grew up in Chicago, a mother who loved art and, and music and, and the Art Institute, and she would take us to the Art Institute all the time. And so when I get to go to the MAM, I just, I feel like I'm communing with my mom and I just love seeing and hearing the stories that each of the artists tells in their own unique way. Because we need alternative voices and alternative perspectives and alternative visions of the future. And I think art sparks your mind and your body and your emotions in ways that are different from words. Art is more important than ever right now. These are pretty crazy times and uh, you can relax, you can go and enjoy the work. It'll make you think, it'll transport you to another place. These artists are creating work right now that represent like the people in your town and your community. And there's nobody that can tell our stories better than ourselves. I think that the reason people should be giving to the MAM is that so that we continue to inspire generations of uh, young people and artists and the community uh, to go into the museum and be motivated and astounded. Art is more important now than ever because art is the greatest vehicle that we have for self-expression and being able to understand each other. Art in all its disciplines allows us the opportunity to connect, to communicate, uh, to relate, and to empathize with one another. And that is something that is needed more now than ever. You know, you go to the MAM and BAM! Check out the Missoula Art Museum. It's an awesome place. As MAM's Big Night continues, we invite you here and now to invest in the creativity found at MAM by clicking the Donate Now button located on your screen and proudly showcasing your support at any level of giving that inspires you. And as we kick off the showcase of direct support here tonight, we're excited to announce that the entire MAM Board of Directors is showcasing their support tonight for MAM, each contributing to tonight's moment of giving. 
And as they're showcasing 100% collective support for MAM, it's our hope that we can secure 100% support from this community of supporters that are tuning in from home tonight. New board member Colin Boyle and his wife Maddie are joining us from home tonight, and they're kicking things off with a gift of $1,000. Thank you both. You know, whether a gift of $1,000 speaks to your heart, a gift of $5,000, a gift of $50, or perhaps a gift somewhere in between, click that donate button, click that donate button now and join us in this course of support throughout the night to propel MAM forward in their continued efforts to champion for core programs and exhibitions, proudly supporting more than 200 local, regional and national artists through exhibitions each and every year, offering free educational programs to all schools within the region. We've got so many friends tuned in at home tonight that are joining us in support. We've got a gift coming in from an anonymous donor for $50. Thank Thank you so much. Lynn Metcalf is joining us here tonight. Thank you, Lynn, for your gift of $100 tonight. Laura Goodman joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Sheila Miles with a gift of $100. So many friends tuning in tonight. We're so grateful to have you here. And we've got friends joining us on the chat feed tonight as well. We've got friends saying, ma'am is the best. Absolutely. Radically welcoming. We certainly are. We love Beth Lowe. There's some friends that are tuning in saying that they love Beth Lowe's work. And we've got some friends from Atlanta, Georgia joining us tonight. So friends, continue to click that donate button and share in your love for ma'am by simply clicking that donate now button below at any level of giving that inspires your support. As ma'am's big night continues, I'm excited to introduce you to our next collection of pieces from tonight's featured 15. Again, this year's online auction features more than 120 sensational works of art that are sure to inspire and excite and entice your support for ma'am. And again, bidding for all of the works featured in tonight's online auction will come to a close at 8.30 p.m. So continue to explore those offerings and discover your new favorite artist. And join me as we take a closer look at a few more pieces included in tonight's featured 15. So here we go. Ma'am is honored to have lot number six featured in tonight's auction with this piece by nationally known artist Rick Bartow. Mad River Band, We Yacht, titled Dancer, has been presented to us as a gift of the Richard E. Bartow Trust and the Froelich Gallery. We're really excited about this piece. You know, Bartow is known for depicting figures or animals caught in the act of transforming. And this powerful figure is no exception. It's here with us in the museum gallery tonight. I'm a big fan of Bartos, and I assume that many of you are as well. Collectors around the globe have always had a soft spot for Bartos animated etchings, which capture his draftsmanship and the lovely hand coloring, which you can see here on the figure's face and antlers. Bartow, who passed in 2016, has been the recipient of numerous honors, including the Idle Jorg Fellowship for Native American Fine Art, an installation in the Jacqueline Kennedy Garden at the White House, and has a number of his pieces in the MAM collection. So again, we're very excited about this piece tonight. We are grateful to the Richard E. Bartow Trust and the Froelich Gallery. Charles Froelich, if you're watching from home, hello tonight, my friend. Thank you so much for your support of MAM. Thank you both for this continued advocacy for Bartow's legacy and helping us bring this fabulous piece to auction for MAM's big night. You know, I've had the incredible honor of offering Bartow's works at auction for many, many years, and they continue to escalate significantly in interest and value. Now that Bartow is gone, there are fewer and fewer pieces of Bartow's available, so do not miss this opportunity to collect one of the most powerful voices in contemporary Native art. So as we've done before, let's check in and see how the bidding is progressing on this incredible piece. So friends, things kicked off at $1,000 with an opening bid, and then they moved along to $1,200 with Craig Mentier. Craig is our high bidder right here and now at $1,200. And again, bidding for this piece, as with all others, will come to a close at 830. So do not delay. If you are favoring this piece, if this piece speaks to you, if you've wanted to secure a Bartow in the past and haven't had the opportunity to do so, click that bid button right Right here and now, champion for the love of ma'am, secure your bid, and perhaps at the end of the night, you'll be leaving with a Rick Bartow. We're moving along with lot number seven by Lillian Pitt, Wasco Warm Springs, Yakima, is titled Salmon Grill Design. You know, Lillian Pitt is one of the most highly regarded Native American artists in the Pacific Northwest. A revered sculptor and elder, she expresses her artistic vision through a variety of media, including clay, bronze, and glass. 
a consummate artist adept in any media, Pitt's stunning works are powerful and collected on an international scale. And this stunning medley in glass, which is featured here tonight in the museum, has been created in collaboration between two of our finest Northwest Native artists, Lillian Pitt and Lumi artist Dan Friday, who have collaborated to create a series of sensational glass pieces, including the one featured here in celebration of Mam's Big Night. Through their collaborative process, Pitt lays out her design on a table using crushed glass powder which she sprinkles over a stencil to get her characteristic designs. When the hot glass is blown, it's then rolled in the powder and it picks up the design onto the blown glass form. It's really an incredible process, really unique process and so captivating to watch. All of her work draws from pictographs and petroglyphs of the Columbia River Basin from Pitt's Warm Springs and Wasco heritage. Many of you may remember trying to bid on one of Pitt's glass vessels at last year's auction. And if you missed out on that opportunity here at MAM's art auction or elsewhere, here's your chance to secure the winning bid on a Lillian Pitt piece. Truly a master artist, she's been making her signature work in ceramics, glass, print, textiles, and jewelry for over 40 years. This piece was presented as a 100% donation in support of MAM. So let's check in on this piece by Lillian Pitt and see how the bidding is progressing now. Bidding opened up at $1,500 and then quickly ascended to $2,250. So the high bid's at $2,250 right here and now on the Lillian Pitt piece. Again, if you'd like to get in on the bid activity, just simply place your bids now. Bidding will be open until 8.30. We're moving along to lot number eight, which features an incredible piece by Russell Smith, courtesy of our auction sponsor, Relic Gallery. This piece captures the hope and vibrancy of the 1970s. And you can see part of it on display here behind me. You may recognize Smith's work from the cut metal flower baskets that um, the Missoula downtown had featured through the Missoula Downtown Business Association, which were commissioned in 1978. These baskets are still in use and have become the symbol of downtown Missoula. Smith is a quintessential Missoula artist and made this decorative sunburst when he returned to Missoula. Smith says, quote, returning to my hometown to join its very aggressive counterculture. By 1975, I was a full-time artist growing vegetables in the front yard and making a living of sorts doing the mini craft shows that were so popular in those years. While decorative torch cut containers were my bread and butter, I did a lot of drawing, cast bronze, jewelry and fabrications of all manner. This piece, which is here with us again in museum tonight, absolutely beautiful, was brought to us by Relic Gallery here in, in Missoula, home to many rare and fantastic collectibles and soon to expand in downtown Missoula. It is being presented as a full donation in celebrated support of MAM's Big Night. So once again, let's check in on the bid activity and see how things are shaping up with this piece in our online auction. So things kicked open with an opening bid of $2,000 and that's where we stand, friends. And I know that, let's see, it's seven o'clock, just a little bit after. You've got a little over an hour and a half remaining, or a little under rather, hour and a half remaining to continue to place those bids. Again, bidding for this lot and all others featured in tonight's online auction will come to a close at 8.30. And that may seem like a fair amount of time, but I can assure you it's going to go by in the blink of an eye. So place those bids. Continuing on, we move right along to lot number nine. This velvet quilt by Nancy Erickson is titled Felice Forever Number no. 4. This is a major work by Erickson, one of the best representations of the artist's unique vision ever to have been included in the MAM auction. Erickson is a pioneer in contemporary textile art, making soft sculpture, art quilts, and organic freeform quilted paintings that express her concerns about humanity, the animal world, and the planet. Erickson is nationally recognized for her innovations with art quilts, and her work stands out as unique among artists who utilize the quilt as a mode of expression, not only for her signature organic shaped format and painterly approach, but also her chosen subject matter, presenting pictures of complex animal-human interactions. In 2020, Nancy and Ron Erickson donated a significant gift to the MAM collection as part of the 40 Forward Capital Campaign. MAM received 22 of Erickson's most significant works, focusing specifically on pieces that received national awards and accolades during her 60-year-long artistic career. 
Let's check in on the bid activity currently wrapping up on this piece as well by Nancy Erickson, which is here with us in the museum gallery tonight. And it looks like there's opportunity still to be had, friends. Place your bids now on this piece by Erickson. Get in on this opportunity to champion for the Missoula Art Museum. Showcase your love for the power of art. And these pieces, which are featured again, more than 120 sensational works of art included in our online auction. And during this live event, Again, we're highlighting our featured 15, 15 works of art receiving an in-depth share during tonight's live event. As we continue moving along, we segue to lot number 10 with this oil on wood panel by Don Voisin. Voisin is a master of hard edge geometric abstraction. And he stated, quote, the simple vernacular of architecture informs my painting. Architecture, a language of space, delineates boundaries, exposes points of access, exit or entry, and enables the user to interact with the structure of a defined space, working with symmetry and a standardized format to reduce variables. I establish borders on all planes with the introduction of more complex angles. The space becomes charged, resonating with implied speed, curve, and thrust. These interactions seem to extend beyond the edge of the picture plane, shifting perspectives of scale and perspective." Quote, Wazin is a member of the Collective American Abstract Artists and the National Academy. His work has received incredible reviews in Art in America, Art News, The New York Times, Hyperallergic, Hyper and The Brooklyn Rail. His recent solo exhibitions include Mackenzie Fine Art, New York in 2019, and Gregory Lind Gallery, San Francisco 2018, and his international group exhibitions. Let's check in and see how bidding is progressing on this piece, which was 100% donation presented in support of MAM. So bidding once again kicked off here with this piece with an opening bid at $1,200 and then quickly escalated to $1,850, which is where we stand now. So friends, if this piece speaks to you, place your bids now. Stephanie Sample was our opening bidder. Stephanie, if this piece still speaks to your heart, click that bid button, get back in on the action while the opportunity exists. Again, friends, bidding for this piece and all works featured in tonight's online auction will remain open until 8.30 p.m. tonight. So continue to discover your new favorite artists and celebrate your longtime favorites by placing those bids. And in fact, bidding is continuing on right now with that last piece. Brian Sippy is in with a bid of $2,100, $2,175. Brian, Great to see you online here tonight. We miss seeing you in person. Thanks for being such a longtime champion of MAM and good luck to you on this piece. Again, we'll be introducing you to the remaining pieces included in tonight's featured 15 a little bit later. And keep in mind our online auction will come to a close at 8.30 tonight, as I've said. So continue to explore that more than 120 artworks donated by some of the most beloved and most accomplished artists of our time, all in support of MAM's big night. And as you keep placing those bids and clicking that donate button to celebrate your love for MAM, let's take a moment to announce our second Watch to Win prize winner. All right, friends, and the winner is, we're picking a name out of those in attendance. And it looks like we've got Stacy Sherwin of Missoula. Congratulations, Stacy! You are the winner of our Wine Club membership. So I believe you're getting a six month subscription to the Wine Club from Missoula Wine Merchants. Congratulations, Stacy Sherwin of Missoula. Ma'am, we'll of course be connecting with you hereafter to finalize the arrangements for your win. And again, we'll be announcing two more Watch to Win prize winners throughout the night. So make sure and register if you've not yet done so. Start participating in support of MAM tonight. It could be your name we're pulling next for our next prize. You know, it's well known that MAM produces robust educational programs for art lovers of all ages. The fifth grade art experience sits at the core of these programs and is now available to every county and reservation in Montana. As our celebration continues, let's take a moment to learn a little bit more about how MAM is continuing to enhance exposure and access to art for even more children throughout Montana. Museum is Megaphone is MAM's free distance learning platform. Um, it was designed to amplify the voices of artists and students by offering virtual courses and spotlighting our contemporary American Indian art collection, current exhibitions, and um, the rest of our collection of over 2,000 pieces of contemporary art. So MAM is engaged with just over 1,500 students almost 100 teachers, and close to 21 counties throughout the state of Montana. Many rural communities, tribal communities, um, we realize that there are a lot of barriers to 
um, entry to the Mozilla Art Museum. So when we're able to teleconference out, we can bring people to the museum. Uh, solitude is a very close neighbor to isolation, I think we've all been discovering. And so the ability to connect with people, the, the chance to work with the staff at the museum, you know, they do things so well here. And then to interact with these kids who have such resolve and energy, they're so adaptable. So I think the one thing I've really come away with is these fifth graders have taught me, you can still be a fifth grader. Okay, I've learned a bit, I've had some experiences, but there's still so much to learn. And there's so many experiences to have, and those are available to me if I have an open mind and I'm ready. Again, as MAM's Big Night continues, we invite you here now to directly invest in the creativity found at MAM by clicking the Donate Now button located on your screen and proudly showcasing your support at any level of giving that inspires you. Martin Burke is showcasing his support tonight for MAM with a gift of $1,000. Thank you so much, Martin. Perhaps a gift of $1,000 inspires your support as well, or maybe it's a gift of $500 that speaks to your heart. Tonight, we are honored and thrilled to be celebrating gifts at every level of giving. So please click that Donate Now button at any level of giving that speaks to your heart because you know creativity takes courage, because you want to invest in the creative process, because you want to invest in MAM and become a champion for MAM. Again, whether it's a gift of $5,000 that inspires your support or a gift of $250 or somewhere in between, click that Donate button now and join in this chorus of support. Again, throughout the night, each and every gift propels MAM forward in their continued efforts to champion for core programs and exhibitions, to proudly support more than 200 local, regional, and national artists through exhibitions each year, and offering free educational programs to all schools within our region. And friends, that support continues on. We're thrilled to see Asta So giving a gift of $100 tonight. Thank you. Molly Bradford joining us from home tonight. Molly, thank you with a gift of $100. Michael Legg is joining us with a gift of $250. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you, one and all. Ruth Reinking is giving a gift of $1,000. And I apologize, Ruth, if I, if I mispronounced your last name. Ruth Reinking, thank you so much for championing for MAM tonight, for joining this chorus of support. Join Ho Joan Hood, rather, is giving a gift of $100. Kay Grissom Kylie. Kay Grissom Kylie is, oh, Kay. Kay, of course, Kay is giving us a gift of $250 tonight. Thank you, Kay. And friends, that support continues on. Catherine Mallory joining this chorus of support. Join us in the chat feed here tonight. Join us by clicking that donate button. Again, we'll be highlighting the generous, outstanding support of community champions that are joining this course of support throughout the night to propel MAM forward in those continued efforts to champion for core programs and exhibitions. And as I said before, to support more than 200 local, regional, and national artists through exhibitions each and every year, offering free educational programs. There's nothing like it that exists for all school children within the region. So if at any time you feel inspired and encouraged to take action now and join this chorus of support that continues to grow and celebrate the power of art and share in your love for MAM, simply click that donate button now and contribute at any level of giving that inspires your support and speaks to your heart. We have Diana Nash giving a gift of $1,000. Thank you, Diana. Phil Hamilton with a gift of $1,000. Phil, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Brad Pickhart, Pick excuse me, Brad Pickhard joining us tonight with a gift of $500. Brad, thank you very much. Continue friends to click that donate button here tonight. We are so thrilled and so honored by this generous showcase of support. As MAM's big night continues, I'm excited to introduce you to the final five pieces of artwork from tonight's featured 15. Again, this year's online auction, if you're just joining us, features more than 120 sensational works of art that are sure to inspire and excite and entice your support for MAM. And bidding for all of these works featured in tonight's online auction is gonna come to a close at 8.30 p.m. So continue to explore those offerings, discover your new favorite artist, perhaps follow along with a favorite artist and join me as we take a closer look at the final pieces included in tonight's featured 15. 
We're thrilled to share with you here and now lot number 11 here tonight, Stephanie Dishno's ceramic and gold leaf piece titled A Memoir. Dishno is a recent MFA graduate from the University of Montana, and since graduating, she's helped found the Wildfire Ceramic Studio here in Missoula. One of MAM's core values is to support emerging contemporary artists, especially those with strong merit like Dishno. Dishno's work is exceptional for its strong emotional content and use of scale. As is seen in this piece featured here in the MAM gallery tonight, which I have to say is so stunning and impressive. When you first walk into the gallery, its presence is just resounding. Dishno draws on her experience as a woman in today's society using figure to create stories from her perspectives and curiosities. Whether you're new to Dishno's work or have now become a strong collector of her work, as I'm sure that many of you will now be, now is the time to place those deserving bids. So friends, let's check in with our online auction activity and see how things are progressing here and now. There is opportunity to get in on the bid activity here and now, friends. Bidding is open. So if this piece speaks to you and it is absolutely captivating in every way, impressive in scale and scope and size and, and, and just incredibly powerful resonating from the wall here in the gallery. Place your bids now on this stunning piece by Dishno. We're moving along to lot number 12 and we're excited to highlight the work of John Hitchcock with this dynamic piece, screen print and die on paper, titled Wichita Mountains. Hitchcock is a professor of printmaking and associate dean for the arts in the School of Education at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. This piece by Hitchcock came out of his residency at the University of Montana's Matrix Press, co-sponsored by MAM, during which Hitchcock maximized his experience and the student print assistance and created 153 prints in a week. Some of these prints were included in MAM's 2018 exhibition, The Shape of Things new approaches to indigenous abstraction, and then the 2019 multimedia installation, Bury the Hatchet, Prayer for My Poppy, which is currently at the Portland Art Museum with a catalog forthcoming. Hitchcock uses his cultural heritage as Kiowa, Comanche, German, and Dutch to look at ways in which everyone can come to the table to address historical trauma and injustice. In the past three years, Hitchcock has completed two residencies at the Plains Indian Museum, Buffalo Bill, Center of the, of the West in Cody, Wyoming, the Plains Art Museum in Fargo, North Dakota, and in partnership with MAM at Matrix Press at the University of Montana, where this print was created. I personally am absolutely enamored by this piece and excited to check in on the bid activity and see how things are progressing. And we kicked things off with an opening bid of $1,250 and then things progressed with Ren Esney at $1,500, Essene rather. Uh, Ren, you're our high bidder right now at $1,500. So good luck to you on this piece by Hitchcock. If you've got your eyes on this friends and you'd like to partake in the bidding. Again, it's really easy to do. Just click that bid button right here and now. Join us in celebrated support of the Missoula Art Museum. This next package, lot number 13, celebrates the power of performance art with the Bear Bait Dance Roadshow performance. Now this piece obviously is unlike anything else that we'll feature tonight. This experience is donated by Bear Bait Dance, a Missoula-based professional contemporary dance company. Bear Bait Dance's artistic director, Joy French, founded the company 10 years ago to offer a professional dance in Montana for Montanans. French has been awarded Montana Arts Council's Artists Innovation Award in 2017 and is currently Arts, Arts Missoula's February star. So that's exciting. Congratulations, Joy. Currently, the company consists of six professional dancers and includes guest artist residencies, teaching residencies, regional tours, video productions, a film festival, and a multitude of collaborative projects. In particular, the Missoula Roadshow, as this package is called, is choreographed by Joy French and was born out of the desire to perform outside during COVID times. As the winning bidder of this package, you'll be treated to a private show performed by or performed for you rather, and your COVID compatriots by Bear Bait Dance. And to inspire you into a whirlwind of bidding that is sure to be forthcoming, Bear Bait Dance joined us recently to share in this remote performance with you now.
Every time Katie I dream in your bed I wake up with aches I never knew before Every time Katie we stir up the dead I want you just a little bit more Thought I heard you say my name Thought I heard it faintly Every time Katie I'm hanging by thread It seems to be quite often lately Every time, Katie, I drive to your house, I get lost in the neighborhood. Every time, Katie, the fire gets doused, I run off to gather more wood. Sometimes I think that there's no point in wondering what could be. Every time, Katie, you wear that blouse, hanging fruit on a poisonous tree. Our thanks to Bear Bait Dance for sharing this performance with us tonight. Again, as the winning bidder of this package, you and your COVID-friendly gathering of guests will be treated to a dance performance outside on your lawn, driveway, or alleyway. If you've been missing the push and pull of a live performance, this auction package is the perfect way to support MAM while sharing in the excitement of a live, intimate event. So let's check in on the bidding and see who's inching that much closer to a private dance party. So friends, we kicked off with Shannon Flanagan with an opening bid of $250. Things quickly progressed thereafter with Rosie Ayers joining us, Craig Mintier, Patrick Boyle, Shannon Flanagan got back in on the action once again. And right now we're with a high bid of $750 with Josh Gimpleson. So Josh, good luck to you and friends. If you'd like to get in on the action of this package, you've got just a little over an hour remaining. Again, there are more than 120 incredible works of art featured in our online auction for MAM's Big Night, all of which are sure to inspire and excite and entice your support for MAM all of which will be secured by our lucky winning bidders this evening when bidding comes to a close at 8.30 p.m. So with that being said, continue, as I've said before, I'll say it again, to place those deserving bids and join me as we take a look at lot number 14. This piece by Gordon McConnell is titled A Broken Hallelujah, was created with acrylic on Art Forum magazine pages. McConnell recently upended and redefined his artistic practice, creating colorful images reminiscent of movie posters and film still on pages from Art Forum. These bold, painterly pieces reflect McConnell's 30-year commitment to examining the icons and mythology of the American frontier in his postmodernist paintings and photo montages. Trained in both studio art and history, McConnell came to Montana in 1982. He was assistant director and a curator of the Yellowstone Art Museum in Billings through 1998, rather, and later worked as a curatorial consultant to the Uncross Foundation in Wyoming. McConnell received the Governor's Arts Award in 2020, and during that same year, Mann presented a survey of his work entitled When the West Was One, which is touring the state through the Montana Art Gallery Directors Association, which is very cool. For this piece, McConnell, a fan of Italian spaghetti Western film, used a promotional still from the film that was titled Once Upon a Time in the West, that film by Sergio Leone. This served as the foundation for his subject matter. And the title of this piece is taken from Leonard Cohen's song, Hallelujah, wherein there's a really moving line of lyrics that reads, all I ever learned from love was how to shoot at someone who outdrew you. 
I love that song. I love that sentiment, that quote. I absolutely am in love with this piece. And if you are finding yourself drawn to this piece as well, place your bids now. With that in mind, let's check in on the bid activity to see who's in the lead, friends. With this piece, we kicked off with an opening bid of $750. Things progressed thereafter with Glenda Bradshaw. We had an anonymous bidder join in the chorus of support. And right now, Josh Gimpleson is once again in the lead with a bid of $1,350. So congratulations, Josh. You're our winning bidder as of this very moment. And if you'd like to stay in the lead, continue to keep tabs on how bidding is progressing again for the next hour. Bid activity will remain open. Our final piece included in tonight's Featured 15 comes to us from Missoula's artist, Asha McDonald. Lot number 15 with its rolling water and undercurrent is aptly titled Cauldron, with her distinctive focus on realism captured in the details of the waves and surf in this oil on panel. Throughout the years, MAM has featured several of McDonald's waterscapes in the auction. They are always highly sought after. A native of rural Connecticut, McDonald has found her home in the West since 2004. As the artist in residence at the Potomac School, McDonald is the primary art instructor for a diverse group of K-8 students. For over two decades, Asha has participated in juried exhibitions, charity auctions, quick draws, public installations, and continues to benefit from gallery representation nationwide. She is represented by Radius Gallery in Missoula, and we are thrilled to have her represented this evening in our featured 15. Let's check in and see how the bidding is progressing on this piece here tonight, friends. Bidding opened up at $1,100 with Ing Erickson. Good luck to you, Ing. You're our high bidder right now. And again, friends, if you're interested in this piece, click that bid button right here and now. We have such an impressive collection of work that's being presented for MAM's Big Night. Certainly so many pieces that will move you and entice you into celebrating your support for MAM. So again, bidding for these pieces and more than 120 incredible works of art featured in tonight's online auction for MAM's Big Night will remain open until 8.30 tonight. And the clock is ticking. So again, place those bids now on your favorite artist works. Perhaps you'll explore some new favorite, longtime favorite works, place those bids now. Each and every bid that's placed tonight really truly further empowers MAM and their efforts to offer a space where free admission, free expression, and free education are championed day in and day out. And it's really this type of support that empowers the experiences that are found at MAM. These opportunities are truly made possible by you, this treasured community of donors and members, art makers and art lovers, you empower MAM in every way, ensuring that MAM can continue to serve the public, engaging audiences and artists alike. As MAM's big night continues, we're excited to introduce you to some of the donors we've connected with throughout the community here and check in with them on why they choose to champion for MAM and give so generously in support of the power of art. It feels like a sanctuary. It's, it's a really welcoming place where you can think about not only the art but about life and to be alone with those thoughts or to interact with community uh, in that same space. Part of what makes Missoula special is the richness of our thought and expression and our openness to new things and MAM is on the leading edge. The Art Museum is there as uh, the kind of institution that opens people's eyes to the world in a way that otherwise they may not be opened. We love MAM because we believe art is essential and that supporting artists um, in our community and around the country is a critical part of creating a vibrant community. Our lives are better and richer because we have MAM in our community. When I think about my life as an artist in Missoula, MAM is always there. I think my love for the MAM comes from the opportunities it affords artists, the way that artists in the community are able to um, show their work there, teach workshops there, attend workshops. Well, for me, I was the founding director, you know, and at 27 years old, uh, you know, that was my first museum job. And so this opportunity, this collaboration that went on between the county and the city and the Carnegie Library building and those things, it was a, it was a new, it was a new game in town. There were some art lovers and enlightened citizens who stepped forward and said, may we keep this building and use it as an art museum for the community. I mean, what a beautiful statement, not only about the arts, but about people who cared 
about Missoula and Missoula really becoming and being a city of the arts. People should be excited about participating in the MAM auction and supporting the MAM because MAM does such a great job of bringing people together through art. Uh, and I think, you know, creating a space where our finest local artists can exhibit their most compelling work in a way that uh, brings us together to reimagine our community for the future. You have hundreds of people coming together saying we're going to celebrate the arts, we're going to celebrate MAM, and we are going to celebrate the Missoula uh, community and, the, and this region. I invest my uh, dollars and my time in this um, place because the commitment that the institution has made to uh, opening its doors for everybody and more than that reaching out into the community to the more rural spaces um, reservation communities and bringing that kind of engagement and education and access. So last year we were the winning bidders on the Lillian Pitt vase, which was one of the, I think, you know, most exciting items up for auction. We paid way too much um, and got it away from some dear friends, uh, which is bittersweet, but um, my wife loves it. Everybody who comes in the house loves it. And it's you know really exciting uh, to be bidding up a wonderful piece of art like that. We fell in love with the, the work of indigenous artist John Hitchcock um, during his multimedia exhibit um, in 2019. And we were thrilled um, when one of his pieces was in the 2020 art auction. And we jumped at the opportunity to um, not only get this beautiful piece of work in our home, but also to support MAM. I think if you're able to donate in any capacity, do so. But particularly when there is an auction like this. Art has the power to transcend time. You're getting potentially an amazing piece of art that you will live with and love, and that will then be passed on. Having this special experience, this big night, it brings us all together. And it reminds us that even in these incredibly hard times, especially in these really hard times, um, a celebration of life and a celebration of art, because art is life, um, is all the more important. MAM's generous community of donors ensure that MAM can continue building a legacy where creativity is found and the next generation of artists and art enthusiasts can thrive. Donors like Kate Sutherland, who joins us tonight in support of MAM with a gift of $500. Thank you, Kate. If a gift of $500 speaks to your heart as well, click that donate button now to show your love for Missoula. Show your love for the power of art. And of course, most importantly, show your love for MAM. Tonight, we're celebrating all gifts presented in support of MAM. So again, continue to click that donate button at any level of giving that speaks to you and join in this continued celebration of support for MAM. We've got friends continuing to rise to that call to action here tonight. Taylor Valiant is giving a gift of $100. Thank you, Taylor. We've got Ren Essien joining us again. Holmes Hummel with a gift of $100. Gifts coming in at $50. Carrie Altenhofen is giving a gift of $50. Pamela Dubois is giving a gift of $100. Nancy Bugby joining us here tonight with a gift of $250. Thank you. And an anonymous donor joining us with a gift of $1,000. Thank you so much. Kia Lizak with a gift of $100 as well. Friends, continue to click that Donate Now button. And though bidding will close tonight at 8.30, you'll have the opportunity to continue to give in support of MAM throughout the weekend. We're going to keep that giving platform open throughout the remainder of the weekend. So if you feel inspired to show your love for MAM tonight and throughout the weekend, continue to do just that. Again, through both our continued support with direct and generous donations tonight, and through our activity in the online auction, we can truly continue empowering them in their efforts to engage the community at large, create educational programs, and establish premier art exhibitions year after year, all while remaining free and open to the public. 
Another way we can support the museum, as we mentioned at the top of the show, is by purchasing a copy of the Getting Through album. This is a compilation album, again, featuring 64 tracks uh, from over 30 recording artists with connections to Missoula or Montana. And you probably heard a lot of the album if you happened to tune in earlier tonight during the precast, we had the honor of having that album run during our precast. And as we mentioned at the top of tonight's show, MAM partnered with the Montana Area Music Association and local producers to create an opportunity for recording artists of Montana to be part of a community album. And that album is launching tonight. It's dropping tonight. It's available for purchase. This project was organized and produced entirely by volunteer music producers and engineers. And this signature album, as I just mentioned, is available for purchase. It's dropping tonight, available for purchase at missoulaartmuseum.bandcamp.com. Proceeds benefit the Missoula Art Museum and the Montana Area Music Association. And once again, we want to extend our immense gratitude to all of the musicians and collaborators that joined together to create this incredible album and celebrated support of MAM. Thank you. Tonight, we're cheering on our Watch to Win winners, our generous donors, and rooting for the many friends placing deserving bids in our online auction. And if you're feeling inspired by what we're sharing with you tonight, and you'd like to join MAM in their continued journey to engage the community at large, create educational programs, and establish premier art exhibitions year after year, all while remaining free and open to the public, well, friends, do just that, showcase that support, free admission, champion for that tonight, free expression, champion for that, free education that MAM champions for day in and day out. None of these opportunities would be possible without philanthropy. And we're thrilled to see such resounding philanthropic support taking shape tonight through both the incredibly generous donations that are coming in alongside the fierce bid activity that's taking place in our online auction. So again, continue exploring those artists featured here on MAM's Big Night and placing those deserving bids. Again, bidding for our online auction pieces will remain open until 8.30 p.m. tonight. Keep clicking that donate button, friends, to celebrate your love for MAM. And as you do just that, let's take a moment to announce our final Watch to Win prize winners. Up for grabs now, two virtual VIP passes to the Big Sky Documentary Film Festival, which as many of you know, especially if you're here in Missoula, though we have people watching from all over the country tonight and in Canada, this is going to be taking place next weekend. It's an experience that anyone around the world can take part in. If you win this next prize, we're going to be pulling the names of two lucky winners for this final Watch to Win prize drawing. And the winners are, it looks like we have Meredith Rippey of New York City. Meredith, hello to you in New York City. Thank you for joining us. You're going to be having the opportunity to secure a VIP pass um, in the upcoming days to the Big Sky Film Festival. And it looks like we've got Corey Schott of Boulder, Colorado that's joining us, also a recipient of this Watch to Win prize. You're gonna receive a VIP pass to the Big Sky Documentary Film Festival, which will be held virtually. Ma'am will of course be connecting with you in the upcoming days to secure your VIP passes so that you can tune in to that signature Big Sky Documentary Film Festival next weekend. As we round the corner towards the close of MAM's Big Night, our first virtual edition of the MAM Benefit Art Auction, we want to thank you all for joining us this evening to celebrate the power of art, community, and connection. Art is essential, as is our continued support for the Missoula Art Museum. So again, I'll say it one more time, continue to click the Donate Now button, friends. Continue discovering your new favorite artists and placing those deserving bids in our online auction, which, again, will remain open until 8.30 p.m. Each and every gift that's made, each and every gift that's showcased, every bid that's presented tonight, really truly further empowers MAM in their efforts to continue providing a radical welcome to all, where free admission, free expression, and free education are always offered. Where art workers, art makers, and art lovers can celebrate contemporary art in all its complexity and diversity. To this treasured community of attendees joining us tonight, thank you for being the philanthropic fuel that propels MAM forward. On behalf of the entire team that's joined here together tonight in support of the production of MAM's Big Night, we want to thank the MAM staff here tonight, Imagination Media, which is helping broadcast this event. Our team at Givergy, thank you so much. It's been an honor to join you all this evening. Stay safe and be well.
I tried to reach you by phone Tragedy struck where you were away from home And I just want you to know Everyone's doing the best that they can And you were right about Randy Newman I felt a little bereft So I sat and listened to the records you left Took me a while but I guess He's a little dry sometimes but he's a clever guy Replaced you with your Randy Slowly, hold hands, hold on. 
I won't have nowhere to send This letter when I finish writing it Nobody knows where you've been If you come back around, well, I might not be in town Your records will be where you left them And I know eventually You'll take a president's inside